Linda Cunningham intends for every piece of art she creates to make a statement. A series of blue and gray swirls show the ever-increasing hurricanes that are the result of climate change. Other pieces show waterfront property in the Bronx and the elevated train tracks that are often identified with New York City and the borough. It's, not all artists work like that, but somehow that was always me. Um, it, it, it was what moved me. Um, mm -hmm. I, mean, I could make abstract paintings, but that just seems like, for, it seems to me too easy, but <laughs> that's, um, you know, colors, whatever, they're nice. I mean, uh, but that's just not me. I, I um, no, it's what, what matters. That rings true for the art space that she and her partner, Sabine Schumacher, have created. Situated in the Mott Haven neighborhood of the Bronx, Bronx art space provides more to its community than an ordinary gallery. Cunningham and Schumacher try to make it clear that access to the art in their gallery is totally free. They also use the gallery space for open mic nights and community gatherings. The Bronx Ensemble even played. The a number of events that are now <coughs> happening here as a part of the programming, uh, that like now there's a monthly open mic that has become quite popular, very interesting. Um, you get you know, a um, huge range of people who are coming, including a mother bringing her kid who wants, is playing the trombone and just wants to go hear things. Schumacher and Cunningham say they want to provide a platform for artists who might not be able to display their work elsewhere. Just wanting to be supportive of other artists. I mean, when people who are in the Bronx, artists in general, there are never enough exhibition opportunities. Artists end up doing everything to get their work exhibited. The galleries rarely support them well at all, and you know they're uh, um, and and we wanted to sort of show what I knew was going on here. Their adopted neighborhood in Mott Haven means more to the couple than a gallery in trendy Soho or anywhere in Manhattan. I saw young people that came here, looked at art. Want, wanted to sit in the gallery, wanted to volunteer, and they now come back and are adults and mm -hmm. say, listen, you gave me, you trusted me, you gave me kind of a platform to really figure out what I wanted with my life. And not necessarily to be an artist, but they never forgot they what... A what job and yeah. a supportive environment. Right, and what, yeah. it, what, this, what this art, this room full of art gave them. Recently, the gallery has shown an exhibit by several Latinx artists called Paper Trail, one called Artists Respond to Politics About Gender and Diversity, and another called Systems of Injustice. The more diverse our program is, the more diverse is our public. And people who never would get into the gallery to see a show like today, never would come to such an opening, but come to an open mic or come to Latin jazz. So what they are mostly in. And then they say, oh, we didn't know that you were existing. Getting people in the door is the number one goal at Bronx Art Space. More exposure to diverse art is important to Schumacher and Cunningham. They want to foster a sense of creativity and love of art in the South Bronx. It's a kind of level of enrichment, of life enrichment. Um, that opens people's eyes and opens doors and I, I mean, I don't know, um, you know, most people are watching their cell phones and TVs and, you know, um, and that is canned for them. Um, they're seeing what somebody wants them to see and what the most people are looking at and what money can buy. and. We're offering something entirely different. In the future, Bronx Art Space will continue to show work from a wide array of diverse artists and present community programs. I'm Elliot Chaparelli, WFUV News.